All right, now let's go ahead and do some worldwide total confirmed required and death analysis. We already have those in confirmed dot head. That's the worldwide confirmed day, worldwide confirmed cases. And uh, after that, you see there is tail. In the tail, you will see their latest confirmed cases. And the similarly, we have in recovered dot tail. So these are the latest recovered cases. And similarly, you will get their deaths dot tail. And last five, last five latest date, uh, last five latest deaths. So this is the total confirmed recovered and uh, deaths now let's go ahead and do a plot of these latest confirmed recovery and uh, deaths on the scatter plot so the first of all we need to create a figure in uh, plotly so that we can do with fig is equal to go that's the graph object in plotly and there you need to create a figure canvas like we did into our matplotlib so if you see there fig dot so sorry so this is an empty plot all right so we have got this figure in a plotly now our task is to add here confirmed cases recovered cases and death cases so the first of all i'm going to add that fig dot add underscore trace so fig underscore trace so this is going to add here okay scatter plot go dot scatter now in this scatter plot we need to pass the uh, x variable and the x variable we have here confirmed cases all right so on on the x axis i'm gonna pass their date and y is equal to confirmed cases and there i'm gonna pass their confirmed all right now we have x and y let's go ahead and run this and see what happens so with this we get here a simple plot of confirmed cases from day wise and the total cases on the y axis and the currently it is saying on the may 9 2020 there is 4.02 million confirmed cases of the covid 19. all right let's go ahead and add some more more data um, and the figure aesthetics so there i'm gonna first change the mode with the mode is equal to line plus marker all right so this will change this line with the line and markers so there we have actually lines and markers sorry i think uh, something is missing there let me see what is happening there I think yes so that mode should actually come inside the go dot scatter plot all right now you see we have got here line and markers together all right perfect now let's go ahead and change the color of this line and see what happens after this mode I'm gonna change the name of this line I'm gonna say that this is confirmed cases and uh, then i'm gonna change the line color as well so line color can be changed with the color palette line dict and in that dictionary i'm gonna pass there color is equal to orange all right let's go ahead and run it sorry this should be the dict let's go ahead and run it now what do you see you have got here a new line and marker together with the color change in orange and apart from this i'm also going to pass here the width of this line you can pass that with width parameter with this width parameter you have width is equal to two let's say by default and if you want to increase the width with like a four now you see there the line width has been increased there but here I'm going to put it just two so that it can look so good actually. All right. So this is for a confirmed cases. And similarly, what we can do, 
similarly we can do for the other cases like uh, recovered cases and death cases as well so i'm just gonna copy it and then i'm gonna paste it here and now this is going to be for recovered cases all right let's go ahead and make it recovered and here we have sorry we have here recovered all right and the name we also need to change here that's the recovered and uh, let's go ahead and change its color as well so for a recovery i'm gonna pass their green color let's go ahead and run it once you run it now you will see here we have got confirm and recovered cases till now and finally here we need to add the third parameter and that's the third one is actually the deaths so we have here deaths and then finally we have their deaths and similarly death is here and we also need to change that deaths here as well and then the finally here this green i'm going to change it to the red color all right now you see we have got here a very beautiful plot which have confirmed cases recovered cases and death cases on this plot and this plot you can actually zoom in if you want to this plot so this is a very beautiful plot in plotly then you can click on auto scale then it will automatically scale these two up default scaling all right now let's go ahead and write the final piece of code to update this update this figure so we can write that fig dot update underscore layout all right and there i'm gonna put their title the title i'm gonna put here worldwide sorry this is worldwide covid 19 cases and on the x-axis all right x-axis tick fonts so i'm going to change those x-axis tick font size that i'm going to make it 14 and then y-axis is equal to i'm going to pass there a dictionary and it's a title is going to be number of cases all right let's go ahead and run it now you see here how beautiful plot is this one we have here a number of cases and there is uh, the date and then finally we have here a very interactive plots for confirmed recovery and deaths so this is all about in this lesson thanks for watching in the next lesson i'll show you how you can plot case density animation on world map